Today we want to have a closer look at bodywork technology and its connection to design and costs. Body panels of mass production cars are usually made from sheet metal, that can be steel or aluminium. These sheets are pressed into a mold with high force to reach a certain shape. For straighter panels you need less force, for rounder shapes more force. We discussed this in my Trabant video already, which had very straight body panels, because the stronger presses were either destroyed during Second World War or transported to Russia afterwards. I want to take the VW Group and especially Audi as an example of how bodywork technology changed over the years. In the 1990s, VW's CEO Ferdinand Piech, grandson of Ferdinand Porsche, paid a lot of attention to accurate bodywork. And so VW invested a lot in bodywork technology. Panel gaps should be perfect and there should be no steps between panels. Also doors and tailgates should fit perfectly. That was the start. Accurate bodywork became a highlight of VW Group cars and their bodywork departments wanted to show their competence. So in the 2000s and 2010s cars got tighter and tighter radii for design lines. So the shapes got a lot sharper and the transition between light and shadow got harder. Lots of customers don't recognize these things, but it unconsciously creates a feeling of quality. People say that this car looks solid and safe, but cannot describe why. So the bodywork departments took this more and more to an extreme. Cars got sharper and sharper lines and more and more of them. Funnily enough, you can see this especially for cheaper cars, because they have steel panels and you can bend steel a lot more. More expensive cars, like an A6, have aluminium doors, so the radii are not as extreme and aluminium would crack for tighter bends. And it's not just about the design lines. Another big topic that almost no customer sees are the door handle pockets. Doors are usually curved outboard, so they get a dent in the other direction to allow to have proper handles. As you can imagine, it's a lot of stress for sheet metal to bend in one direction and then to have an accurate dent in the other direction. So naturally, there are small dents around that area because of the increased stress. Because customers don't see this anyway, other car brands just leave it as it is. But Audi spent lots of money in the past to avoid these mini dents around the handles. So we reached the peak of all this with the Audi A4 in 2015. Look at the deep sharp lines in the doors. Audi Q7 in 2015. Look at all these sharp lines in the aluminium doors. And VW Polo in 2017. Look at all these lines in its steel doors. But that was also around the time when Dieselgate came up and suddenly the company had to save a lot of money. The interesting thing now is how the next generation looks like. The A4 B9 facelift for example. You can see that the expensive sharp lines are completely gone and the door is a lot simpler and hence cheaper. The A6 C7 had not as extreme sharp lines because of its aluminium doors. The C8 from 2018 had a lot simpler doors. Extreme is the change if we look at current Audi models. The new A5 for example, which is the successor of the old A4 because of Audi's new naming convention. These doors are almost flat. And instead of a more expensive door handle dent, they just cut a hole in the door and fix a plastic part with button from the inside. The same for the A6 electric model. Another topic is the front of the cars. Audi wanted to keep their clean front end design for as long as possible. That means they drag the bonnet all the way to the front, which results in a clean design. Disadvantage is the worst crash rating. So lots of competitors change to a so-called soft nose design. That means that the bonnet is shorter and the plastic front bumper includes the most forward part of the bonnet. Advantage is not just the better crash rating, but also that injection molded plastic can create shapes which would not be possible for sheet metal. So there are lots of details in a car's bodywork many customers don't see, but these details tell you for example if a manufacturer had to save money. I hope you found that interesting and check out my other videos for more.